مدارس الطالب الذكي القرآن حياتنا نحو جيل إسلامي أمثل In the name of Allah, dear my smart students, how are you? I hope you are all well. Now, a new lesson in our book, English World Class, Grade 7. We still in Unit 8, a point of view. Lesson 6, and we are going to take the writing lesson. Open your student book, page 84 and 85, and also bring your workbook, page 71. We are going to learn in this lesson to review the features of writing an opinion, to plan and produce an opinion about homework. If we are going to write an opinion, follow the steps. Step number one, use your first paragraph to introduce the subject. Of course, you have to be clear with your reader. So, you are going to write your first paragraph in order to put the subject for your reader to know what are you going to write about. As Julie write here, I have begun to realize precisely what sort of existence the animals have and I don't visit zoos anymore. Now I know what is she going to write about she what is she going to talk about from her first paragraph step number two what is step number two in your writing use a new paragraph for each reason you use to support your opinion. Julia uses paragraph to explain each reason for disliking Zeus. Here we have a paragraph. The animals don't live in their natural habitat. And another paragraph talks about the reason suffer stress, how these animals suffer stress from Zeus, and how these animals are exploited. Okay? But if we are going to write about the opinion, we are going to write first, the first paragraph, it will be about the topic, what are you going to write about, then the second step that you are going to give your reasons. And while you give your reasons, you have to write in each reason in a new paragraph. That was step number two. Step number three, use the first person, I, we, to express your opinion. You express your opinion, so write in the first person. What we mean by the first person that I use the pronoun I, I. Now I am going to talk about my own opinion. So I am going to write with the first person here pronoun I. I don't visit zoos anymore. I am a member of wildlife world like this. Step number four, you the second person, you, to get the reader involved. After you are going to write a paragraph with the reasons, with the first person, pronoun I and we, then you want to attract this reader. How can I get him involved with use the second person, you, the pronoun of you? You will not notice animal stress. Tell your friends and family too. These are the examples of the lesson we have. Step number five. 
Step number five. Use language to persuade the reader to agree with you. It means you have to choose your words well. You have to choose them well. How can, like this, if I am writing here the word impossible, it will be better than difficult. It's more powerful and it persuades the, re the reader more. Also, the word cruel, it will be better than not nice. Also, if we are talking about the tigers, we say pacing, painting, and bumbling. It will be better than the expression of walks up and down a lot. Now, get ready to practice workbook page 71. We are going to write about opinion. What are we going to write about homework? Get ready and bring your workbook to write with me. Write about your opinion. Homework is a, for me, it is a good thing. But if you disagree with me, you can write what is your own point of view and show your teacher, of course. Homework is a good thing. I think homework is good thing for these reasons. Here I did step number one. I put the topic and I make the reader know what I'm going to write about. Homework is a good thing. I think homework is a good thing for these reasons. Now I am going step two to give my reasons of and of course as we said before each reason in one paragraph. My first reason is that I can check my understanding about the lesson. My second reason is that I can practice my own information about the topic of the lesson. Another reason why I think homework is a nice thing is that that you have the chance to know which part you want your teacher makes it clear for you. Now here in the paragraph, the first paragraph, I use the first person I, here I, here I. Then at the last paragraph, I want to get the reader involved, so I use the other second Pronoun, second person, you, to get him involved in my writing. That was the end of our lesson. My advice to you for today, don't be too hard on yourself. There are plenty of people willing to do that for you. Love yourself and be proud of everything that you do. Even mistakes mean you are trying. Thank you.